I'm Nancy McCarthy. I've been a ACE certified group fitness instructor for 35 years, and this is my ACE evolution. It was very early 1980s, I think it was in the summer, and my girlfriends and I went to a camp at the YWCA, and there I saw a demonstration of Jackie Sorensen aerobic dancing. I hadn't heard of it before, but I loved it. I was really in love with the movement of it and the music. So I found out where, when I got home where I could find a class to take. I went to the class and it was about a little under an hour to go to and I went twice a week. Sometimes I had to drag my children with me, but I was so into it that I went and um, took the class, loved it, and it wasn't long after I applied to become an instructor. And so I wanted to become certified so that my customers and my students would have confidence in that I was providing them a safe and um, fun exercise program. Um, the American Council on Exercise, to me and to everyone I knew, was the certifying organization that would give us um, the status and the um, respect. And we knew that it had very high standards. So that was the uh, organization I wanted to represent. I think it gave me the power to have the confidence and the proof to myself and to the public that I was an expert, that I was a professional, that I, I had ACE behind me that supported me and guided me that way. Um, it gave me the power to know I was, I was um, credible. Her name is Sue, and Sue uh, came to my um, six-week boot camp. It was a daily boot camp, 6 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday for six weeks. She had lost her son in Afghanistan, and she was um, a heartbroken woman. You could see it in her face, in her being. It was a major effort for her to get out of bed every day and come to boot camp. Boot camp kind of gave her a reason for that. There were 30 or 40 other people there and they all knew uh, what she had was going through. And um, there was support there and love. And we had a time trial, a running time trial every, every Thursday during boot camp. And every Thursday she would get faster and faster and you could see it in her face. She was running through her grief. And when she finished each time trial, the tears just came. Um, mostly we would, you know, pat her on the back, give her a hug. Sometimes we just let her have her moment. But she was through running through her grief, and she got stronger every day. And um, she actually turned around and, and created a, a road race in our town, which now is in its 12th year. And it's uh, probably 2,000 runners come every year. It's on Flag Day in honor of her son. And um, <laughs> I still get choked up thinking about it, but um, she, she often thanks me for um, having that boot camp. I, you know, I think it was not only me, but all of the members in my boot camp that got her through that time in her life. And I'm, I'm just thinking I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> Keep on moving and inspiring people. I have, I have no reason to stop. And people will say, as long as they need me, I think that I will keep going. If I find that they don't need me anymore, then I'll know it's time to, to stop. But I just, what I love is that I'm actually doing something that is improving someone's life. That's a very awesome feeling. So it's, it's a big responsibility. But that's what I love about my job, that I'm doing something positive for other people. I'm helping some people. Not just I'm not just helping somebody make money at a corporation or anything like that. I'm actually making a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm.